comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. What's up, YouTube? It's Rob from KY Constrictors, and I got a little surprise for you today. That's right. I got a red tail boa, and his name is Ashtray. He is approximately about 15 months old at the time, and if you can't tail he is a hog island boa with a cross of longicata and I tell you man he's just awesome guy not a lot of people out there do the crosses and they try to steer away from them but I'll be honest with you they make excellent pets they do everything a, a pure blood hog would do Pretty much, it'll stay a little bit smaller than, you know, your nat your uh, natural longicata because of the hog gene being in him. But this is ashtray. I mean, look at that pattern on the tail, man. I just love red tail boas. Love them. And uh, snake dad, he. Picked up him a boa, I guess. And it was a little skittish of it, I think. Which is perfectly natural. Being that that uh, boas aren't ball pythons. They can be a little bit more bitey. Their bites can hurt a little bit. Especially from a full grown boa. But this right here is all too common for boas to do. They love to tail wrap. And they'll wrap themselves up all around your hand and stuff and when you're trying to tame, or not really tame a boa, but when you're trying to get it used to handling and calm it down some, not tame. When you're trying to tame a boa to where you can handle it anytime you want. One of the tricks I found that is best that has worked for me is this try to steer away from that cool letting them cool up on you and just stretch them out show them dominance and continue to do that I mean don't be forceful don't show them any negativity when you're doing it I mean they'll bite you a little don't get me wrong but Kind of let them go where they want to, but don't let them call you up. And eventually, you will literally be able to just let it hang on your fingers and go through your arms and all around you before you know it. Anyway, Ashtray. I picked him up from a buddy of mine who was having trouble keeping his snakes due to lack of employment. In other words, he couldn't really afford to feed them the way they need to be fed. He contacted me and said, hey man, I got a good deal for you. Do you want it? Me being the type of guy I am, I was kind of hesitant at first because I had my own collection. And he said, well, I'll throw the, I'll throw my two red tails in there too. That sealed it for me. I'd been wanting a boa for a long time. And I tell you, man, I love my boas. And I'm a ball python breeder, but I love my boas. I consider these my pets. I mean, all my animals are my pets, but these are 
they hold a special place in my heart. And uh, they're mine. So, anyway, uh, he shut out yesterday. And you really, I don't know if the camera picks it up or not, but where he's lighter on his, towards his head is really bluish gray. Anybody that owns a boa knows what I'm talking about. That bluish gray tint that they got. I love how the pattern changes on him. It's almost like he's striped or something. Like a big wide band all the way down compared to his belly. He's got that nice pink speckled belly. But see how he's doing me there? That's what you want to try to steer from because when I was holding him before and stretching him out, he was real loose and limber. And now he thought he had control, so we're going to stretch him back out. And he'll come back down to sip. See how he's trying to do? He's trying to say, no, I'm dominant. I'm the man. But no, I'm the man. Because I'm going to let you come over to my other hand. And I'm going to slightly do a switcheroo on you. See how that works? And now he knows I have full control of him. Anyway. I made this video because Snake Dad said the other day that on his video of a uh, hundred pickups. Where he showed the super worms. Great clickbait by the way. But. He did have some awesome animals he picked up. And the boa was one of them, and he said he was skittish of it. And I thought, well, why not do a video to show what I've done? Other than, you know, keeping them stretched out, letting them explore, letting them do what they want so they feel comfortable. I figure another th trick that I've done is I like to handle them two or three times a week, max. No more, but at the same time, no less. And you want to keep it short and sweet. You can go a little bit longer as you continue to handle them. But I would start out about 10 minutes a day you want to end it on a positive and show them and then continue to show them that you're not a threat and you're not going to hurt them. But anyway, I hope as it helps. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If I can answer them, I'll try my best. If not, I know a couple people I can ask and hopefully I can answer it for you. But, uh, hope everybody has a good Saturday. Enjoy the weather. It's kind of rainy here, but hopefully it's pretty where you're at. Anyway, uh, have a good day. Click like and subscribe. Let's get to that 100 subscribers, guys. I'm ready to give a snake away. Anyway, won't be anytime soon. I still gotta feed them and stuff like that they're doing great by the way my my four little hatchlings I'm waiting on them to shed out which should be any day now so hopefully uh, we can get them feeding here in about a week anyway click like and subscribe hit that notification bell and KY Constrictors is out